Hello everyone, this is John M. Maradia from Vista Solutions. In this video, I am going to show you serial number tracking and its traceability in Open ERP. So let's go into Open ERP system. So here we are in Open ERP system. Let's check a bill of material first of all. For that, let's go in manufacturing, master data, bill of materials. Now let's search for a product say 11. So once we click on this product, you see its components which is required to manufacture this product with the described quantities. So before manufacturing this product, let's see the quantity available of this component. So let's check the real stock of product 12 and 13 in products. So here you can see the product 12 and 12, 13, both real stock is 00. zero. So now in order to manufacture the product 11 which is 4 quantities we need to purchase this product. So now let's go into purchase and do a purchase order. So here we are in purchase and we'll go in purchase order. Now we'll create a new purchase order. So now let's purchase the product 12 and 13. After selecting the supplier we'll create purchase order lines first one for 12 with two quantities we'll save and close now we'll create one more purchase order line so product 13 yes let's select it let's make this quantity as 2 we'll save and close this now the components required for manufacturing of product 11 have been purchased so let, let's save this and convert this save order into a purchase order. Now this purchase order is confirmed. Now let's go into picking list. Now here in the input picking list you can see the products which you purchase with their quantities. Now after this let's click on process. Now here you see the products which you have purchased are split up into its individual quantities and each individual product has been assigned a production lot number which is nothing other than the serial number for this individual product. Now let's validate. Now once you validate, you can see each product with its serial number. So now once this is done, we'll save this. Now once it's saved, let's go and check out labels. So here you can see label for each product with its serial number and the barcode to it. So you can now stick this label into in on individual product. Now this label would help in identification of so-called product. So this, this was all about labels. Now after this we'll go for manufacturing of product 11. So for that let's go into manufacturing. We'll go in manufacturing orders. We'll create a new manufacturing order. We'll create a manufacturing order for product 11. Now we'll assign a location for this. Now once this has been done we'll confirm the production. So after confirming the production, we see the components which are required for manufacturing of this product are being populated over here with their quantities. Now here we see it's in the waiting good state. So let's do a force reservation. After this, it's now ready to produce. So let's click on start production. And now let's produce. We'll confirm the production. So once you confirm it, you can see the product consume list has been populated with its serial number. So this shows that this product with this serial number has been consumed for manufacturing of this product. Now let's save this manufacturing order. Now this product has been manufactured. So let's go into finished products. Now here we see the product which has been manufactured even that is assigned a serial number, a unique serial number. And the label for that can also be printed by clicking on this action button called label. So this was about serial number tracking of the products. Now let's talk about its traceability. For that we'll go into manuf uh, sorry warehouse. So let's click on warehouse. So here we are in warehouse dashboards. Let's click on traceability and we'll go in production lot. So if you recollect the product with serial number 77 was manufactured. So let's go into this. Now here in production lot you can see two buttons upstream traceability and downstream traceability. So let me talk about downstream traceability first. So I'll click on downstream traceability. 
So here in downstream traceability, you see the product which has been manufactured with its serial number and the amount of quantity which has been manufactured along with the source location and the destination location for this product. So this was about downstream traceability. Now let's check about of upstream traceability. So here we are. Let's click on upstream traceability. So in upstream traceability, it shows the main product which has been manufactured along with its serial number plus if you click on it, it also shows the components which were required to manufacture this product along with its serial number. So this was about upstream traceability. So this was all about serial number tracking and its traceability. For more videos on open ERP, please join or log into our website called www.vistasolutions.com. Thank you.